Welcome back to my garden. Today is all about freshening up some pots here on the patio. I have some wave petunias, which um, will drape really nicely over the side of the containers. And I have some alyssum, which is just such a wonderful, versatile filler. It can reseed pretty rapidly, so you do need to be aware of that. Um, but they're easy to pull up if they get um, too invasive. But I never find that because you know for me more plants is more plants. So I'm going to plant these. I have a little bit of extra um, of the pink hummingbird salvia and I think I have a coneflower. All of that needs to be planted here today. So join me and let's garden. The first area I'm actually going to work on is right down here in front of my pollinator garden and I just redid the pollinator garden. If you missed that video, I will go ahead and link it below. Um, it has a ways to be filled in, but it's looking beautiful. Did you see we just got buzzed by a hummingbird? So I'm gonna put these down. So these are the pots that I'm going to be working on today. Um, they normally have petunias in them and it works, it looks beautiful. So there's sometimes no reason to reinvent the wheel. We have been having such mild weather here. Um, we have been in the 70s through most of May. We had a couple of um, little heat waves, but nothing to speak of. So the flowers are just loving it. I have not um, had any flowers that burn up, which can happen this time of the year which is kind of nice, um, but actually I'm ready for a little bit of sunshine. And it looks like this weekend will be in the 80s. So I'm gonna try to get these in here, get them acclimated. I've been working so hard on the garden lately. Um, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of time today and go and get a pedicure which it's time trust me i'm not one of those women who um, spends a whole lot of time getting manicures and pedicures but um, to start the summer and uh, before we take a little uh, vacation trip next week next week next month um, i want to make sure that my tootsies are looking as as nice as possible so that i can wear some sandals I think what I'm going to do in here is probably two of the petunias and um, one of the alyssum and I think that that will give enough um, enough fullness to this because the way petunias get rather large and now I'm rethinking it I think I think I'm gonna put three I'm gonna put three petunias and two um, of the alyssum I did forget I do have in the back here some tall dianthus they are perennial so I did cut them down and I expect that they will bush back up and hopefully get tall again so I'm just working on the front area here I'm going to put three of the wave in here and two of the alyssum I am I am going next month to Idaho to visit my niece, my mom, and my sister and I are going to take a little trip, um, which is always so nice. I like to try to have one girl trip with just me and my sister and my mom. There was um, four boys and two girls in my family growing up. <gasps> Do you see the frog? Oh, I don't know if you saw that. We never have had so many frogs as we've had this year and they're adorable but they surprise me every single time he's gone I was gonna try to catch him for you we have brown ones and green ones I think it is because of all the rain that we have had that we have had and because the temperatures are mild I really don't know I'm guessing but we have had a lot of frogs anyways so that's it I'm just putting these in here, I've already replenished the soil. I did add a little fresh fertilizer. 
one's in. A little bit more here. More needs potting soil. And fluff that up. And that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that over here and water it in really well. And then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that salvia. As I was saying, I like to try to spend some time with my mom and my sister. Uh, my mom is 89 and thankfully um, very healthy, but um, it's always fun with, with just my sister and I and her can get away. Um, we've gone to Catalina, we've gone to San Diego, this time we're going to Idaho. Um, we're going to spend time at a little mini family reunion, but the time in the hotel, that is the precious, priceless time that I know I'll never get back. So, um, and I know how blessed I am to still have my mom with me. So that is my summer. A package came off this pop-up's um, symbol. I have to sign? All right, let's try to finish this again. That was the doorbell. My husband was expecting a package, actually a new symbol for his drums. And I didn't realize it was signature only and he would not have been happy with me if he had missed that delivery and I was home. So anyways, where was I? Uh, time with my mom. So that time with just, just us in the hotel room where we can watch silly movies and laugh and just um, savor the time is priceless. So, all right, let me get this planted up. I have a, I have a dahlia already in here, which will grow tall. Actually, I think I want that here. This salvia is huge. I cut it back and it just keeps coming back. Um, I have some bedding plants in here that probably could stand to be replenished. I don't have anything for them right now, um, which is another reason to go to the nursery, which, you know, hey, we're all about that, right? So I have the dahlia. This is like a Misha, which is a small flower. It, I had a huge, if you, I don't know if you've seen it in another video, I, I mean like six foot foxglove in here that I just pulled out. This was totally shaded out. So I trimmed it back. We're gonna see if it will come back. I think because um, the coneflower is perennial, I'm gonna put it towards the middle because it will always be a good focal for here. And then I have um, some uh, alyssum left. I'm gonna put that right here. And then I think I'm gonna be done for today and I am going to go and keep my um, pedicure appointment and just really enjoy that after all of the hard work I've been doing in the garden. So let me just finish this up. As always, a little slow release fertilizer to start us off.
that is that. I'm going to go ahead and water it in. It looks like I do need, um, need, there's that word again. I do have room for another bedding plant here and something to spruce this up. We'll do that next time. As always, thank you for gardening with me and I will see you in the next video.